kids missing out on those extracurricular activities. Yeah, and the boredom. You, you don't have your friends to sit yeah, with there. Yeah, it's tough. Of, it's difficult. I mean, sitting there in front of a screen, right, Joseph? Hour after hour after sure. hour. Yeah, yeah, it's so repetitive. You just want to get outside. And if I was the kids, I'd be still screaming, it's summer still. Right. Temperatures. Exactly. The temperatures are in the 90s. It feels like it. I want to be outside. I want to be doing things this week. It's going to be hot outside. You can see a beautiful shot of Portland behind us. There's some thin clouds, but it's not doing anything uh, to keep us cool in this situation on this day for our first day of September. Notice that we do have some sunshine continuing through the week as our number one headline. There's no rain either. In fact, I think we may see our longest stretch of 90 degree days back to back to back to back that we've had all summer coming here for our first week of September. And we may even have some record breaking temperature over Labor Day weekend. Our average high now is actually 79 degrees here in Portland, and we are well above that Wednesday through Monday, and it just gets hotter, as I mentioned. By the time we get to Sunday and Monday, it's possible that we see temperatures in the upper 90s, which is very similar to what we had for our August. That's because this ridge of high pressure that's represented here with the orange and the red, that's going to be the warmer air as well. Uh, really taking over the whole West Coast and through the Pacific. And so with that, it's going to kind of shield any sort of uh, disturbance from coming in. It's going to push that colder air to the north. And it's just going to allow for us to kind of settle in under this bubble of some warmer air. And with that, uh, I'll tell you, we won't have much activity as far as th thunderstorms, lightning, anything like that for wildfires. But it sure is going to be dry, and then we will have gusty conditions through the day, which may cause some issues. So day planner for tomorrow, I have us back into the upper 80s. I wouldn't be surprised if we have a couple 90-degree days out there. Uh, temperatures for some of the neighborhoods in the Willamette Valley, about 70 degrees coming out of the coast, 86 through the gorge, over towards Madras, Bend, 93, somewhere around there, and Pendleton, Baker City, those temperatures probably into the lower to mid 90s. Uh, you may have heard me say it's the first day of meteorological fall, which begins on September 1st. It's the months of September, October, November. We just compile all the weather stats during those months. But notice that our average high goes from 79 degrees. That's our average high today. By the time we wrap up the month, it's 71. By the time we wrap up the meteorological fall, it's 48 degrees. So we do cool down pretty quick over the next three months. Satellite and radar, you have the action up to the north. As I mentioned, that high pressure kind of deflects everything away from us. So it's going to stay up there. We will not be noticing anything really passing through over the next few days. You can see that very gentle breeze coming out of the north right now, about 5 to 10 miles per hour. So with the clear sky, you may want to check out the full moon tonight. The full harvest moon, or you may call it the corn moon, 1022. I know a lot of people I like to get some photos of that and send them on in. Uh, you can find me on social media as well. I like to share those, and we'll look at those tonight. Smoke forecast, still pretty smoky over the next couple of days. So with that heat, the smoke sticks around. You may notice a little bit of that over the next few days here in the Willamette Valley. I think a better shot, well, I, I guess you could say uh, thicker smoke may be moving into the valley a little bit later in the week, especially kind of rolling in from the south there from areas of California. So that's something that we'll keep an eye on. We have had measurable rain in 11 days, and I do not anticipate it for probably another seven days or so. So we'll probably hit about 20. You see with the seven day forecast here, there's definitely no rain in the forecast. We already know the temperatures. I have 97 on Sunday and 98 for Labor Day, and I believe Tuesday we'll probably still see those temperatures in the mid 90s. So the coolest day might actually be tomorrow at 88 degrees, but sure feels like summer, and we'll keep that going until September 22nd. And Joseph, I need to ask you something. Were Dan and I supposed to get you a gift or something for meteorological fall? Usually you're pretty generous, so <laughs> very generous. Usually very generous. I'm sure he'll follow through. Yeah. 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 <laughs> Steak. <Right. laughs> well, still ahead.